Am I wrong for being rude and dismissive about all of my wife's baby name ideas? My wife and I are expecting our first child in the coming months, and we have chosen not to find out the sex until the baby is born. Things are starting to feel very real now, so we started to properly discuss names, but we realized we both have vastly different tastes and name styles, and we are having a hard time finding the right one. My wife likes names that are out there and unique, but I find these names tacky and silly and would prefer a better known, more traditional name. Last night, she showed me a short list she had put together and thought I might like. The names on the list were girls, Fern, Fenix, Rhodes, Fawn, Brixton, and Kinley. For boys, it's Spark, Diesel, Quincy, Phoenix, Buck, and Fox. Mm. These names are tamer than what she suggested before, but I told her they didn't feel right. I suggested ideas of Rose instead of Rhodes, Felix instead of Phoenix, Butchanan instead of Buck. What's Butchanan? Butch- Butchanan? I've never heard of that. I finally snapped when she... <laughs> I finally snapped when she suggested Zoomer. I asked if she was serious and said it was a stupid name. She asked what my problem was and why I was so dismissive of all of her ideas and shooting down all the names she likes. I told her we were naming a child and not a dog and that names can have a huge impact on the child. I said I don't want my kid to be bullied or taken less seriously because they have a ridiculous name. She told me I was rude and that I was a bully for making her feel unsupported. She started crying and went to bed. I decided to give her some time and space so waited until she was sleeping to go back to bed. I feel bad about coming at her the way I did but I also feel it needed to be said. When she got back, I explained my concerns and apologized for how I reacted previously. She explained that she has a very common name and there are always multiples in school and she doesn't want that for our child. I very rarely experience this so can't really comment on how it feels. We decided to look into the app everyone is talking about and to explore our family tree to see if there are any names we both like. Many people have asked to see some of the names that I liked. So here goes. Boy, Oscar, Garrett, William, Benjamin, and Edward. And for girls, Matilda, Elizabeth, Catherine, Lois, and Harriet. My ex ghosted me, so I found a way he'll have to see my face every day. This was a while ago and I'm over him now, but about two years ago, I dated a coworker. I know that now that was a mistake. I was barely in my 20s when this happened. We started as friends and hung in the same circles until we couldn't deny the attraction anymore. A couple months into dating, we were planning on moving in together and maybe even getting married one day. We were inseparable and he was so affectionate with his words and actions. But then I got a promotion that required me to go out of state. We decided to do long distance for a while and I would keep a lot of my stuff at his place until I moved back. Then we would live together. Unfortunately, a month into long distance, he ghosted me. There was no indication that things were going wrong, so I was devastated and blindsided. I had never been in a relationship before, so he was my first heartbreak. But the most annoying part was that he refused to acknowledge my existence as just friends. We were in similar group chats and he would just skip over my comments. He would go out of town when I came in town and he would get mad at me for hanging out with our mutual friends. I found this out through the grapevine. It was one of the few things I knew about him after the breakup. Eventually, I moved on and met someone new, but I was still very hurt that someone who I once considered a great friend would just cut me out of my life for no reason. So here's where the petty revenge comes in. We have a company homepage that shows different slides of employees doing things like receiving awards or special events. The homepage plays on the TV screens at work as well as the computers. One day, the company sent an email asking for pictures with a prompt. So I chose the prettiest picture of myself I could find with a nice fluffy paragraph to go with it. Now, the ex that goes to me has to see my face every time he walks into work and opens his computer. A revenge a year in the making. I, 32 female, don't think my little brother, 18 male, knows how important he is to me. My little brother was born when I was 14 years old. He was kind of a surprise baby, but it didn't stop me from loving him the day I laid my eyes on him. When I was 16, our parents got into a car accident that resulted in their deaths. My little brother and I moved in with our grandma. I had a close relationship even though we had a huge age gap. I decided to go to my flagship university so I could commute from home. I had a great social life at college, but nothing was better than coming back home to my little brother. When I was 22, our grandma passed away. I had a job in my own home, so I took my little brother in. I grew even closer to him. It was a pleasure to see him grow into a fine young man. As he got older, we began to develop similar interests. Ever since he was 14, we played video games together every Friday night. He would come to me for advice on anything. We could talk with each other for hours. He was the best thing about coming home from work. However, things changed two years ago. I met my now fiancé at the time. When I first introduced him to my little brother, he seemed happy I found someone. However, he started to keep his distance. Whenever I tried to spend time with him, he would find excuses to avoid me. He barely talks to me or shares anything with him. It's been like this for two years. Here's the issue. I can't love anyone more than my little brother. I love my fiancé as much as my little brother. They both have each of my heart. My fiancé is okay with this. I get that you're supposed to love your spouse and the kids you have with them more than your own family of origin, but I don't think I can operate like that. Both are equally important in my eyes. 
I'm honestly fine if my brother doesn't feel that way in return. I don't think my little brother knows how I feel. I want him to know that even after I get married, I would still try to make time and space for him in my life. I would still crave alone time with him. I want him to know that I want to have a dance with him on my wedding. I would also like to dance with him in the future at his wedding if he is ever okay with it. I want to know his partner and his future kids. I want him to be by my side when I leave this world. He's going to college soon and I don't know if I should share how I feel about him. You should share it and share it fast. He's at an age where maybe he sees you in a relationship and happy and doesn't want to hinder your happiness with your fiance. Never leave things unsaid and open to misunderstandings. Honesty is like always 100% the best way. Am I the asshole? My husband pantsed me while I was changing our baby's diaper. And I asked him to never do that again. I, female 32, was changing our baby's diaper when my husband, male 37, snuck up behind me and pulled down my pants. Just the pants, not the underwear. He wanted me to include this part. He did it to make me laugh. I elbowed him and yelled at him. I apologized for elbowing him. It was just a reaction. I asked him to never do it again. And now he won't agree and just keeps laughing. He says I'm overreacting, but I'm really just asking him to not do it again. And I'm worried he's going to do it all the time now. He says he'll stop if the internet agrees with me. (laughs) But he is confident you will all think he's hilarious. I really don't want to deal with this anymore. Please just say, quote, it's funny once, but not again. Am I the ass? Asshole. Who pants as people anymore? I was thinking that. I was like, maybe I'm just not part of the community. <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally, I don't think I've heard of anyone getting pants since like middle school, freshman year of high school. Like that feels very childish. And it wasn't even that big then. I'll be honest. No. I think like pantsing is sort of a dying, I'm not going to call it art. It's a I dying. Was, why did I have that in my head though? I was envisioning it's a dying art. But it is a dying activity <laughs> it should be dead kill it <laughs> no i agree with her if you tell him like seriously please stop pantsing me yeah then he should simply stop am i the asshole for telling my girlfriend she's not worth marrying after she said she didn't like her engagement ring I've been approaching two years with my girlfriend and things have gone pretty well so far. We've had some ups and downs, but we were doing well and talking about marriage. Now, here's a little bit about me. I work in healthcare, but due to the nature of my work, I have a decent amount of free time. I took up jewelry, metalworking, and started up a little side hustle making gold and silver jewelry, still working on my platinum skills. My dad also works in Brazil and he cuts emeralds and precious and semi-precious gemstones. I knew I wanted to marry my girlfriend, and I wanted to make the engagement ring special. I made an elaborate leaf design ring with garnets, our birthstone, and a 1.5 carat diamond in the middle. I had my dad cut and send me garnets, and I ordered the diamond from a local dealer. I worked on the band and the setting, and over the course of three months, I put the ring together. It looked something like this, but with two big leaves of garnet on the side instead of emerald, without the smaller stones, and a marquee cut lab diamond in the center. It is easily the most elaborate piece I've ever designed and put together. I proposed to her at her house at a little get-together I put with her family and she loved the ring, especially after I told her I made it myself. We had a nice party and I spent the night. Later that morning, she asked me questions about the ring and how long I worked on it, etc. I told her all about it, but her expression changed when she asked how much I spent on it and that it was a lab diamond and not a natural diamond. I asked if the cost was an issue for her. She said that she doesn't feel like it was a big investment in our relationship. Total cost without labor was about $1,200. I didn't keep track. And she prefers real diamonds over lab diamonds. I tried to explain that they're chemically identical, but she asked if I could swap it out with a natural diamond. I relented and said sure and took the ring back. Driving home, I started to think about all the other times she demanded more of me, and I honestly thought that I don't think that anything I do will ever be enough for her. I could spend three months on an amazing ring for her, and she'll still nitpick and find fault in it. I think it just clicked in that moment that I had a lot more issues with this relationship than I imagined. I got home and I called her. She didn't pick up. I texted and said, quote, we need to talk now. She called a couple of minutes later. I told her that I don't think she's worth marrying because of how she treated me over the ring and that I need to think about things. She started crying and being defensive, but I was also very emotional and hung up. She tried calling back several times, but I just let it ring. Her mother and my sister, who's friends with her, 
tried calling, but I just let it ring. I don't want to talk to anyone. I really just need reassurance before I talk to them again. Am I being an asshole for this? No, I don't think that he's the asshole for that. I will show you a picture of the ring. So this is what he gave as an example. It's not yeah. the ring, mm -hmm. but it's pretty similar. Mm -hmm. It's It's got a really pretty center stone with green like oval shaped stones around it with like rose looking thorns and leaves 